New York style pizza, and boy, is it going to be good. This is an 18 inch pizza pan. It's a big freaking pizza. We're going to fill it up with very simple but delicious ingredients. In fact, this whole pizza is simple. Less is more. We're going to make our own pizza dough, our own no cook tomato sauce, and then it's sausage, pepperoni, and cheese, and we're eating big. We'll start with the dough. To begin, we need a cup of water between 110 and 120 degrees for our yeast. And I know it's the right temperature because I have my perfect instant read thermometer. And if we check, okay, there we are. What does that say? One what? 116? So, you got that? We're gonna add one pack of active yeast. That goes on top. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called blooming the yeast. This yeast, water that temperature, and one teaspoon of sugar, and a small mix. And in about 15 minutes worth of time, what you'll see is it starts to get foamy on top. That's when we can use it. Not till then. We'll put a link to the uh, instant read thermometer below. I don't think this one was very much money, and it's great. It's so much better than those ones that take forever. Forever. What movie was that? Sandlot. Sandlot, best movie ever. It's a, just a great movie if you haven't seen it. And then when you're cooking, when you're anything, this is your friend. Okay, next on to our flour. Here's the move. Three cups of flour go into our processor. Three cups. See, that always happens. I was being so careful and then that. Then we'll add a teaspoon of kosher salt. Like that, put the lid on. Give it a little pulse. Just to mix in the salt. And when the yeast is ready, all foamy and stuff on top like this, and you really smell it, we're ready to put it in. So, we turn the, now we can add it. We turn the processor on. We'll add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, like that. And then slowly pour in the yeast, water. Now we're waiting for this to become a dough ball. And as soon as it does, five, four, three, two, and one. We open it. We look. It's a little bit sticky, but it's perfect. Okay. We take a bowl. You can lightly oil it or you can spray it. These fucking things. God damn it. We give it a quick spray. Take the dough. You know, you have to be careful not to lose your fingers on these things. And I like to make it in a beautiful ball. Like this. Hello, sweetheart. And it goes. We put saran over the top. Except this, look at this stupid thing broke. So, I don't have to do this. Seal it up, then get a knife. Just tight, this thing. Put it in a warm spot for about an hour until it doubles. And that will be right here. And while we're waiting for it to rise, we make our no-cook sauce. Yum. The key to this tomato sauce is simplicity at its finest. The most important ingredient are the tomatoes, and I'm using San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes. You can find these. I don't think you have to look that hard. Most supermarkets are starting to carry some kind of San Marzano tomatoes. They come from the San Marzano region of Italy. They're delicious. Oh, look, I'll show you what they look like because I have to open them. 
And by the way, I'm using a one-arm can opener. I think you've seen it before. What's cool about it is when the lid comes off, what it leaves is not sharp. Look at that. Fascinating, isn't it? But in here are these tomatoes that look like this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. These guys. They're freaking gorgeous. What we don't want, though, is all this liquid for this sauce. So I will pour it off into a bowl here. And then I'll stick it in the fridge in another container. And I'll let it become something else one day. So just let this happen. And when it does, and I should have used a bigger bowl. Where did I do this, of course? Hey, how to make a mess in one easy step. I'm Sam. I'm here to show you how to make a fucking mess in your kitchen. Oh, God. And when you've got most of the you look it out. No, look, it's stupid. I use the wrong hands. This will go into the processor. Ah, jeez. Oh, come on, man. Where the hell is that third hand when you need it? And they'll go in with a clove of garlic, just like that. A pinch of red pepper flake, because a little spice is always good. A little kosher salt. And about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You know what we do now, Max? Mix. We actually processed, Max. But you were close. Here we go. And I'll pulse, because I don't want it to be paste, I want it a little chunky. Let's see how it looks. That. Perfect. It's perfect. So we'll put it in a container and the cool thing about this is, is it's now good in the fridge for probably four or five days. If you want to freeze it, it's probably good for four months. And it's fantastic. Use it for all kinds of things, not just pizza. And speaking of pizza, I know you've been admiring my pizza party shirt, so we'll use this as an opportunity to tell you that all merchandise on the website is 15% off. Simply use the code pizza party, all one word. I know you're jealous. You want to look as good in a pizza party long sleeve tee as I do. Well, you can. Or the short sleeve, or the if fat means flavor, then I'm fucking delicious. All those, all those shirts. Dough, check. Sauce, check. You know what's next? We're cooking some sausage. As soon as I clean up this mess. This is unopenable. This is spicy Italian sausage in bulk. You can buy it like this. And if you can't find it like this, uh, you can buy links of Italian sausage. There's mild, there's medium, there's hot. And by the way, the hot is not that hot. Buy the hot because it's just going to add more flavor. So now we just want to cook a bunch of this to scatter about our pizza when we get there. It's going to be so good. Come on over here, Maxie. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Come on. Come on. And by the way, while I'm here, look at our dough. It still has another 20 minutes or so, but look at it. You want it doubling in size. It's almost there. Maybe we'll give it 15. Now to the sausage. So look, just take a bunch, start putting it in. You're going to want like little clumps of it, right? Medium, small, whatever, doesn't really make a difference. So this is how I like to do this. Get a bunch in here. If it's big, you can break it up when you go to put it on. It's all fine. But you just don't want one big like lump of it. So we'll add some more. Can you try turning off those overhead lights? Turn off the lights? Yeah, there you go. How's that? That works. Remember, folks. Remember people, folks, remember people, we're in the, uh, the nest? What is this place called? The hideaway. The hide we're in the hideaway. We don't, we haven't shot here very much, so just, we're getting used to, we're learning. Okay. Look. Just let it. By the way, there's nothing like Italian sausage. Damn, I love it. Damn, damn. So you don't need to cook it till it's like dead. 
You know what I mean? We're really getting the color out. It's going to finish in the oven with the with the pizza, but get most of the red out and you're going to be fine. Okay. And when it's there, take it off. My phone is here. I apologize. We'll just take it out of the pan. If you could smell this right now, you'd be very happy because Max has just been going off on how great this smells. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Okay. One little taste. Mm. Look. Spicy Italian sausage. On a scale of one to ten, it's about a five. Maybe a, maybe a soft six. But it's got that anise, that little very tiny little licorice flavor in there. It's f***ing amazing. And now, I think we can make our pizza. And here we go. Ready for the unveiling, Max? See it. I actually should have oiled that a little bit. Look at that kid. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so here's what we do. We take some flour. We flour this whole surface, this whole surface, and out she comes. Boom. Flour on top. Now the point is we need this thing stretched out to fit our 18 inch pizza pan. You never made one this big, I've huh? I've never yeah. made one this big, You're no. You're scared. I'm completely scared, yeah. Because, you know, look it. I mean, I'm not a professional at pizza. And I want it to be right, and I want it to be the right size, and I want it to be round. I want it looking like it fits that effing pan, you know what I mean? I know people are yelling right now I'm doing this wrong, but I think I'm getting close to my size. Hold on. Look at that. Am I almost there? At this point, here's what I'm going to do. Watch. I'm going to take a little... Do I have it? What the? Oh, here we go. I'm going to take a little cornmeal. I'm going to put it on here. And then I'm going to pick this up and try and get it on there nicely. This is not bad, Max. I'm okay, right? Don't look at me like that. Hey, mama wow. mia. This is, I'm impressed. Damn. So we'll put a little edge, right? Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with this if you're okay with this. Oh yeah. How do you not feel good about this, right? Okay. Now just this last part, just a little, you know, just to try and create that little edge. Shall we? Let's go. Now we start with the sauce, but this is the important part. Not too much sauce. We want a thin little layer. This is not tomato sauce with pizza. This is pizza with tomato sauce. So sparingly. Got it? And what I like is I like that you can see like the chunks of garlic in here. Those are going to be some good bites. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm okay with this. Mozzarella, or as they say, mozzarella. Again, I don't need to cover every single inch so all you see is cheese. Okay, now here we go. Now the fun part. Now it's a combination of the sausage that you just take and throw about and some pepperonis. How do we look there, Max? Beautiful. You happy with this? Good. A couple more of these guys. Yeah? So the only other thing I want to add, the last thing, the very last freaking thing, oh, is Wait for it, is a little bit of that dried old school Parmesan. Just a little. It just adds a little sharpness. 
that the mozzarella doesn't. That's f***ing beautiful, man. Here we go. My oven's at 550, and this is good. I've never made one that size. I want it crispy, and I want it. Do you see what happened here? Okay, this is a brand new pan I've never used before. The f***ing oven won't shut. Are you f***ing kidding? Oh, that's wonderful. It's not, it's not f***ing. What the f***? Okay, plan B. I have to have an alternate plan because this ain't gonna work. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a tip. Before you buy an 18 inch round pizza pan, which by the way, I was so happy about because it was $4.95. You should see if it's gonna fit. Shall we go? We shall go. Quickly, quickly. Going down. Oh, wow. Oh, hello, excuse us. Oh, Harry, look at the kid. Come down and look at him. Here, we're gonna make you famous. God. This is bad. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. There's bacon in it? It's okay. There's bacon in there. Uh, sorry, welcome to no, Nana no, no, Tacos. My name is Sam, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some bacon. Well, we're getting it ready, but I gotta cook this pizza. The bacon cooks at 350. The pizza cooks at 500. Guess what? The bacon now cooks at 500. Sorry, guys. Give me a couple minutes. In the meantime, we gotta have a taco. What's up, boys? Hey. How's that? It's freaking beautiful, man. All right, here we go. No. Above, behind, I'm ready to go. And we're back. And look how beautiful she is. Mother. I mean, look, it, when it came out and it was all bubbly and melty and shit like that, it was amazing. So let's take it off. Oh my God, it's so big, Max. Holy shit. So, I guess I gotta cut a piece, right, Maxie? So let's do this. Cut like this. Out it comes. You pick it up. You marvel at how delicious it freaking looks, how warm it still is under your fingers, and you take a bite. Look. Oh my god. I usually talk after the first bite. It's everything. The sauce, the tiniest little bit of the pepper flakes. The pepperoni and the sausage in this are outstanding. The dough has that, that, that like little bit of yeasty smell and So what have we learned? We've learned you can make a delicious New York style pizza at home. Check the size of your oven before you get a uh, metal pizza pan. There's a good tip. That's what we've learned. Less is more. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of cheese, scattered of toppings. So good. So good. What do we like you to do? We like you to comment. We love the comments. We'd like you to subscribe, hit that notification bell, because then it comes to you. You don't even have to go wonder, does Sam have a new episode? No, it comes to you. You're sitting there, boom. Hey, Nancy, we have a new episode. And don't forget, 15% off all merchandise. What's the code you have to use? Pizza party.